Hey guys, we are back in the workshop and today I'm going to make a kydex sheath for this knife and I've also made a video on how I built this knife in one of the one day built knives um, so I thought why not show um, you guys how to make a kydex sheath on this knife because I haven't made one yet so let's get started with that. Alright guys, so before we are going to start the kydex sheath we will need a couple of tools. Um, of course we will need Kydex as well. We will need some tape, an exacto knife, we will need some eyelets right here. You will also need a tool where you can press on these eyelets. You can also use Chicago screws for them, so you don't need that press, but Chicago screws are not top notch, I would say. You will also need maybe a hand drill or a drill press is preferable. Um, you will also need something where you can heat up the kydex. You can use a cheap microwave oven. That's how I started. I've got a t-shirt press now. Um, you'll also need um, something where you can cut the kydex on. So like a bandsaw, you can also use a handsaw if you're just going to make one or two kydex sheaths. And you will also need something where you can trim up the kydex sheath. I'm going to use the belt grinder. And if you're already a knife maker, you will probably have all these tools already, so you could start right away. And that's what we're going to do now. So before we are going to uh, press the kydex, I'm going to tape up the knife. I'm going to use two layers on each side of the knife just to protect the knife a little bit and the kydex is not pressing right against the metal, so we have a little bit of a spacer in there. So I've got a black kydex sheath here, uh, the glossy side is the inside and then we've also got the matte side which is going to be the outside. Now I'm not going to cut it with the bandsaw, I'm just going to use this angle right here and a scribing needle and then I can just scribe it along and I can just break it um, and it's a little bit easier than always plugging in the bandsaw um, and it's sometimes also faster. So I always want to check if I have the knife right here uh, because we're going to make a taco style sheath so we're going to fold it over. So we are going to, I put the knife here, flip it around and then I know, all right, that's the whole knife covered but then we need some extra space for the eyelids and all that kind of stuff and also a little bit on the knife spine. So I'm just going to make it roughly just like that, maybe a little bit more. Um, and then I can just scribe it down here and then I can just break it um, into pieces. All right guys, so now we are going to heat up the kydex. I'm going to use a t-shirt press for that because I'm making a lot of kydex sheaths when I'm working normally and um, you can also use an oven or a microwave uh, with a thermometer you just have to be a little bit more careful I can set the perfect temperature for this t-shirt press and I also have like a heat resistant um, foil right here you can also use baking paper um, so I put that kydex right underneath here and then just press it uh, shut and then the timer is running for one minute and then it's going to beep and then we can put it into the kydex press so right here I have one of my kydex presses and I've got some heat resistant foam and you also want to use some gloves because kydex is getting quite hot and what I'm doing is I'm just going to lay that knife right here and first of all I'm using one of these quick fix clamps and then later on when I have that all set and done I'm going to put one of these big G clamps on there and then we can just press the kydex really nicely and tightly on that knife and that is also done now take that kydex out you want to work quite fast fold it around uh, press it nice uh, on the edge press it shut 
clamp that sucker on right here. And then also this one, because you can get much more force with that one, so you have a little bit more definition on your Kydex in the end. And that one can get right off. Now we just have to cool it down and then take it out. So the Kydex has been cooled down and as you can see, we have now the knife cladded with Kydex on the outside. And uh, because I want to lay out my sheaves, most of the sheaves uh, for the bigger knives, for the tech lock sizing, because the tech lock sizing, like tech lock is one of these locks right here, that is one of the most common hole spaces that belt mounts and other mounts will be using. Um, and this one is quite bulky, so I'm just going to use a malice clip. This is a different brand, but as you can see, it has the same um, hole spacing, so I'm just going to use that, and I'm just going to and this is also quite cool on this one because I always put this line here um, right there where the plunge line begins and then I can just draw right in here so I know my hole spacings. You can also find these measurements on the internet or maybe you already have a tech lock. Um, and then I always put another couple of eyelids down here in the same spacing so that will look really nicely, then I'm just going to make these lines just a little bit longer. And then I'm going to use a ruler or whatever you have, straight line right here. And I don't want to put it straight up on the edge because we have to drill uh, through here. So we want to give those eyelets a little bit of space and I want to make it parallel with the edge in the end. Just going to put it right here and then another line right here. And I'm just going to connect that. And then we have already our hole markings right here. And then I'm going to use this little punch here. And I'm just going to punch in these holes. And I have this G10 board right here um, because if it would just lay on a flat surface, this thing would wobble and you couldn't really punch those holes. Just put it on this corner right here. And then you can just use that punch. You can also use an automatic punch, but they always break. So I'm just going to use that. And then just going to put in these holes so we can drill them out. All right, so now we are at my drilling station and I have some one, two, three blocks right here. So I can just lay the kydex um, over here and you always have to get the same diameter of drill bits for the eyelets that you're using Most of the times the standard eyelet size is one quarter of an inch So you have to get an American size drill bit which is sometimes a little bit annoying But if you just have one they will hold a long time for the kydex and then you can just drill them out really easily So now that we have the holes drilled, um, we have to get the kydex into its final shape. And before I'm going to press in the eyelets, I'm just going to put them in. You don't want to press them in now because otherwise you can take the knife out. Yes, that happened to me. Um, but I'm just going to put these eyelets in here so I have a reference where I have to cut later. Um, so some guys, they are making around the shape. I like a kind of angled sheath. So I'm just going to roughly going to draw it in here because later on the end on the belt grinder, I'm going to refine the shape anyways, but that's just roughly where I'm going to cut with the bandsaw. And what I'm also doing here is I leave my kydex sheath quite high because we're not going to cut out this portion. Some guys are going to cut that out, but I will explain that later. Also, we are using screws on this knife. 
Sometimes if the screw is a little bit lower, um, I would recommend to put in maybe some tape um, or some paper to cover up these holes because otherwise it's super hard. The tension on here um, will be super tight. Uh, so to get rid of it because the kydex is pressed in really hard where the screws are. So that's why I'm just going to cut it right over the screw so we don't have that problem. So now that the Kydex sheath is roughly profile, we're going to refine that finish on the belt grinder. I'm just going to use a 240 grit belt and you don't want to run that belt too fast uh, because otherwise you can burn that Kydex um, right off and it will, can also bend because you don't want to get that Kydex too hot because Kydex is a thermal plastic and you could just reheat it and make a warp in those edges and you don't want to have that. If you just have a full speed grinder, I would recommend to maybe use 120 grit belt and then just finish it by hand so you don't get it too hot. So now that the kydex sheath is roughly profiled, sometimes you have these burrs on here or like bigger, bigger grinding, things like that. Sometimes you can just break them off or you're just going to run your scalpel along the edge and get rid of that. And there's also a reason why I don't press in the eyelids beforehand because the kydex can get warm again on the grinder and it can press all that stuff, all that kind of stuff like that. Can just press it right into that corner or in that edge and I don't like that and that's why I can just run my scalpel through here and sometimes you get some kydex in there and you can just get out of like rid of that like you can see it right here and then you will have a flusher fit in the end and you can clean it up better and then you can put in the eyelids. Now for the corners I'm going to use my Dremel tool with like a scotch bright wheel and I'm just going to run it across the edges to just uh, get rid of that uh, sharp burr right here and then we'll have a nice smooth kydex. So now we have the kydex sheath nearly done, um, but the knife wouldn't fit in because of that area. And I told you guys, I would tell you why I do this area like that. Some people, they're just going to cut it out so it will fit. But I like to have that area right on here. Um, and that is because kydex can get loose after a while, after a lot of use, it will just wear out. And if you have a heat gun um, at your home, you can tighten that sheath by yourself. You have a little bit more playing area, I would say. And then you can just heat up this portion right here and make it just a little bit tighter. So you have a little bit more uh, playing room to play with that, to tighten that sheath up back again. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up that portion right here so it widens and then we can put in the knife and then I'm going to cool it down with the compressed air.
So guys, now we have a finished working sheath and the knife doesn't fall out. It clicks in really nicely and I'm pretty happy on how that sheath turned out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you have any questions about Kydex, knife making, all that kind of stuff, just drop them down below. If you have some suggestions that I should build, also drop them down below. I try to answer it as quickly as possible. And if you want to see more of my knives, check out my Instagram. Got a lot of stuff on there as well. And if you don't want to miss any kind of stuff like that, just hit that subscribe button and we'll see us in the next video. Have a good one.